Earthquake Edition. That's right. We just survived our first earthquake as a company together. Wrong. <laughs> we are it. alive and Lies. alive, and now it's actually relevant because there was an earthquake. <laughs> Wrong. This is Ari the Data Queen, joined by analyst Hole Matt Muscardi and Hazelnut Rollis. Are you pumped? No, because you're already lying. I didn't feel the earthquake. It affected oh. two thirds of us. Actually, just one third, because Matt didn't feel it. I felt oh. it. Well, I no, didn't but he feel it at he all. Doesn't mean he didn't experience it. One third of us felt it. Therefore, we all felt it. <laughs> On today's weekly wrap up, Disney's proxy fight is finally over. Right? Come on, get excited. <laughs> right? It is, yes. Okay. I don't know, is it? Come on, this is the part of the show you really got to sell it. Come on, sell it. Tesla may or may yes. not be feeling the after effects of its CEO. May or may not. Well, <laughs> That's what analysts say. It's not selling anything. And my favorite employee benefit that I've ever heard of. All right. Yeah, yeah, I like that. People, yeah. People will for that. listen What's that for that one. Be? I don't even know, but is let's one? find out. I feel like that's the one from Japan, I'm guessing. This is such a teaser. I'm so ready for it. Don't say anything. <laughs> All right. Let's start off with story of the week. Damien, wow. why don't you tell us the stories we should be paying attention to? I will if I get played into it. I, it oh. just played you into it. Fool. Well, I talked through it. Oh, so you see, this is uh, this is the world of uh, of Riverside. I don't hear it. You guys hear it. Oh. All right, fine. I'll pretend I heard it. <laughs> Disney wins. That, <laughs> that's you're it. supposed that's to that's sell it. it. Well this is the part where you sell I'm it. I'm already tired. Disney wins. <laughs> Yay! No, annual shareholder meeting was Wednesday. Huge proxy contest. Probably the one of the most famous ever. And Disney wins. The, the official results are not out yet, <laughs> but from all accounts, Bob Iger, the big winner, receiving basically every vote that wasn't controlled by Nelson Peltz. I think 94% of the vote. Yeah. So, wait, how do we know that Disney won if, because they, if the AK uh, isn't out yet? Are these because exit polls? Yeah, corporations often will release unofficial results before they fu- they post the the official results as an AK. They mm. they have an idea, except they have to get the nerds in to maybe. It's gonna be so like this Hillary election wins. got called yeah. already, yeah. but you know that you know that they're certified. already calling election fraud. I'm sure <laughs> somewhere. Well, Bill Ackman is actually. As, yeah, as Ackman said Bill this Ackman needs to be wants the SEC to investigate because Disney was leaking results before. Oh yeah. my god! The meeting. So the but the big story here to me is they. They're already starting the, the new successions talk. So let's talk about, I want to quickly talk about CEO succession at Disney, Bob Iger. Okay. Here are the four candidates. Ready? Mm-hmm. I want I want you to vote on who you think it's going to be based on the current four candidates. Disney Entertainment co-chair Dana Walden, the only woman on the group. She worked 25 years at 21st Century Fox. She now uh, is the leading the Disney's television business, including streaming. That's the first candidate. Her other co-chair, Alan Bergman, he's been with Disney since 1996. He currently oversees Disney's movie studios. Oh, he can't. He's way too woke. Right? Too woke. Yeah, there's that. Josh DeMauro, he's the chairman of Disney Experiences, which means that he is ahead oh, of all parks. the cruises, the yeah, parks, Chapek. right? Let's do it again. Yeah, why well, don't <laughs> run the that park, back. The part of the company that seems to, be make, to consistently make money. And finally, ESPN chair Jimmy Pataro. Oh, yeah, there right. it is. Sounds like the chair of ESPN. So who? Yeah, right. Give me a quick vote. Who's going to be the next CEO of Disney? Uh, the woman. The woman. Wow, it's Dana Walden. You mean she has Thank a name? You. Um, I can't read. They did. They <laughs> they did figure out that only one of the four immediate candidates is a woman. That, I will that's say this: nice of them. Bloomberg, the Wall Street Journal. Choice. And Reuters are all suggesting it will be Josh Tomorrow, uh, chair of Disney Experiences. That's that's their, you know, their Wait, current inside serious? information. Current inside They're gonna do the whole parks thing all over again. I don't understand. Are they just trying to keep the parks being the biggest man- money maker, or are they trying to actually make their entertain well, like this digital is bigger than parks. Disney making this money? Is- this is actually bigger than parks. Tomorrow does not just run the parks. He also runs hotels, cruises, consumer products. He he controls more than just the parks. Okay. 
Anyway, well, nobody seems to care. Let's move on. I guess Second I just don't know week. what Di- Disney should be split into two. Make two companies. Oh, that's what Blackwell's wanted yeah, to do. Yeah, now you sound like Blackwell, oh, which is fine. Sorry. Sound like Blackwell. I am. Um, I uh, my vote is that they bring in Reed Hastings. That's my vote. Um, bring in a third Terrible party vote. and bring, make it Reed Hastings. Second well, story I mean, of the week. Insist. It's definitely not going to be Jimmy Pitaro. They need to insist is. on Netflix like returns anyway. So <laughs> I insist. Second story of the week. Women's basketball is the sport of the land. It is the number one sport. Uh, uh, the a few details here. The Iowa LSU game on ESPN had bigger audiences than all but one of the five games in last year's NBA Finals. Bigger than the wow. last World Series game. Wow. The most watched men's or women's yeah. men's or women's college basketball game ever on ESPN. Only one other game this this whole entire tournament for men's and women's has, has a bigger audience. And according to uh, Sports Media Watch, the most viewed basketball game on ESPN since 2018. Wow. ESPN should be thanking them. Jimmy sure. Bataro should be the head of, e- of <laughs> yes. Disney. <laughs> Disney, yes, Disney owned ESPN. The third biggest story of the week. How about this? This is perfect for us. The headline is, want to be a Fortune 500 CEO? Be a Girl Scout. Eight CEOs in the Fortune 500 started their careers as either a Daisy, a Brownie, or a Junior All-Girl Scout. Some of those women include GM's Mary Barra, Oracle Safra Katz, General Dynamics' Phoebe Novakovic. Uh, past CEOs who, who are not current CEOs include IBM's Gina Romney. Lockheed Martin's Marilyn Houston. So if you no. want to be a CEO, me- fe- no, we, we haven't figured out how to be a female CEO, but if you want to be, start the Girl no, Scouts. No, this, this headline should have been, if you want to be a Fortune 500 CEO, be a Boy Scout or a boy or True. a boy of any kind. <laughs> well, they should have said, want to be a female was. Fortune 500 CEO. That's, that's correct. This is, the, this is a bad well, headline. you know, most of these people are old. I'm willing to bet there wasn't many things women... Girls could do back then. Marissa Meyer. Ooh, Marissa like Meyer's on this list. They had to be Girl Scouts. I Former like CEO at Yahoo. Fourth biggest story of the week is this one out of Warner Brothers Discovery. This Again, it's another nerdy one for us. Two directors forced to step down amid an antitrust oh. inquiry. Stephen Newhouse and Stephen Myron booted off the Warner Brothers Discovery. But we didn't get a lot of drama in these board worlds, but this is a good one. A lot of media... A lot of media drama this week at, at boards because also Paramount Global is going through a, a, a big thing where the board is taking takeover offers and th- what they're saying is that all the power might rest with this independent se- committee, this select committee of independent directors who are supposedly will either okay or not okay a takeover. So who would have thunk at a family-controlled company that – a couple of independent directors would have all the power. So <laughs> lots of media board craziness going on. There's, first of all, they're not actually independent. And second of all, they are so not independent that they refuse to listen to an offer from Apollo Global Management that would have valued the company at $26 billion, despite the fact that its market cap is something like $17 billion right now. So like Apollo made a massive Sounds offer. Sounds like Shari Redstone said no. Yeah, and and the independent committee of the board was like, no, we're only talking to this other one company that hasn't made us an offer that big. So <laughs> I'm just excited that all the corporate governance in the world this week is all at media companies. I love it. Yeah. Um, What's that about? Right, well, so there's, there's four stories. Disney wins. Um, Iowa LSU, biggest thing ever. Fortune 500 CEOs are not Girl Scouts, Iowa LSU, not, women's basketball. Come on, women's basketball. Um, Warner Brothers Discovery director stepped down. I, there's not, this isn't really a competition, is it? <laughs> well, women's basketball, I think, is still yes. part of Disney wins. Oh, yes. yes. So Thank I'm going to go with Disney wins. Disney wins everything. <laughs> Disney wins right. uh, basketball. Disney wins the succession planning of its own. Disney wins against Pelts. Everyone's I'm going to go on the record here. as saying that if I had to break a tie, I would have picked women's basketball. I never would have thought there'd be a day where women's basketball would be the, mo- the most talked about sport in the world, in the country. It's crazy. It's incredible. It's awesome. Not the story of the week, but um, now we're. Th- it's more like goodliest of the week. Why is that not Ooh, in goodliest? Because we so Ari doesn't pay it attention. So much. I don't know. Ari. Here are the stories <laughs> that I picked. <laughs> that wasn't that one. <laughs> Women's basketball is already really good. We don't need to talk about it. That's just good. Here are oh, yeah, the ones I wanted to it, talk no. about. Elon Musk's reputation. 
is probably turning buyers Blah, blah, blah. That's probably? <laughs> probably. <laughs> Come on, stop. I love that. Probably. That's a great headline. That's why they may or may not, you know, be buying Teslas. Actually, but- you know what that sounds like? It sounds like an ISS recommendation. <laughs> like um, uh, Elon Musk's reputation probably yeah, is. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> definitely ISS. Can I say that, that mm-hmm. I saw a story this week, Ari, that to me is the number one reason why the Tesla board is, is they're, not, they're clearly not doing their job. They should all be fired immediately. There was a report that Tesla engineers are leaving Tesla to go work at SpaceX, that should be the end of the road for (laughs) Elon Musk to be the CEO of Tesla. That is really bad. That's bad. That's really, really bad. And the Tesla board should be ashamed of itself for okaying that. Uh, Terrible. Also, but also um, the, to the engineers that are leaving Tesla and going to SpaceX, you know you still work for the same person, right? You know you didn't still, escape anything still. there. I'm talking about Tesla shareholders here. They should be upset. Well, who knew that consumers maybe had limits? <laughs> but this story came out because Q- Q1 deliveries were down Not 20% from the previous quarter, and it's the first decline in four years. Everyone's up in arms about it. There's this Wells Fargo analyst that called Tesla a growth company with no growth. That Aww, was a couple of weeks ago. Aww, but this week, mean. Tesla investor Ross Gerber, he said, Tesla can't sell cars due to Elon's behavior. Let's stop blaming the Houthi rebels, German environmental terrorists, a recession that never came or interest rates, which is everything that What about the Elon illegals? Elon loves blaming illegal aliens these days. No, I thought it was the trans people that weren't okay, buying well, cars. Okay, you well, know, make your choice, yeah. Or maybe so, Don Lemon, former <laughs> CNN anchor. It was Don Lemon's fault. I, I like this one. Why not? Um, then 3M's $12.5 billion settlement to address forever chemicals in drinking water receives final court approval. Ooh, they have yeah. to pay that. Yep, they have to pay it over 10 years. How and much they of that had is to, tax deductible? And they had to up from 10 billion to 12.5 billion. So, you know, got an extra 2 billion. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> How is 3M still operating is beyond me. Well, I they, mean, they settled the lawsuit I think two years ago for six billion dollars for their eye or their ear earbuds. Thing. Yeah, yeah, they, the, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Plugs, yeah. plugs. They, they're door plugs for your ears. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I have no idea how this company is still operating. Um, and finally, this is a headline: free taxis, education subsidies, and egg freezing. How Chinese companies are crafting next-gen benefits for mothers amid the country's baby bus. Wow. What kind of mother? You mean like like hens? Like chickens? What kind of egg freezing? What are we talking about here? Human eggs? Human eggs for wow. human mothers. That's who... Yeah, I'm going to give my company my eggs. I'm going to so, give MSCI my eggs. I don't know if we're going <laughs> to get canceled here hey, because Henry, I'm excited. Here are my eggs. Put them in the freezer. <laughs> I'm excited about Chinese companies, yeah. which you're not allowed to be in this country. What? No, and th- at this show you are. I, I mean, we don't we don't do anti-China here at Free Float Media. Yeah, I agree. But I was reading an article about a panel from a Fortune Summit last week, and during the conversation, CEOs talked about benefits their companies are cur- currently offer. Right, and they had things like egg freezing stipends, childcare spi- stipends, education benefits, which. I see as normal, right? Yeah. Then there were other like fringe benefits still in the ballpark of things I could imagine, like taxi rides for pregnant workers. I like it. Birthday gifts up to fourteen hundred dollars for children until the age of five. That's weird. Like I Wait, think what? that's pretty cool. <laughs> Don't give my kids their birthday <laughs> no, that present. Is a, absolutely no. Wrong. Do it not is do that. a stipend. <laughs> Young you kids don't need it. don't need expensive gifts anyway. Just give yeah, them don't like give a your kids of dirt. You can use the money to buy them a Good bed. Mud. Up to fourteen hundred dollars. I know. Isn't that awesome? What kids that's are terrible. expensive. What fucking no, kid stupid. are you getting? It's stupid. Something but yeah. kids don't need that. Dude, give them secondhand toy. Use some rocks. Tell them to go outside. You know what? I know you're joking, so I'm not even going to respond. No, actually, we're not joking. It's we, not for toys ha- only. You can use it for whatever you want. The All right, here's party. one story you did miss that I thought you were going to cover. I'm not done. <laughs> Wait, was, <laughs> oh, she's not, not done. done. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> then Joey Watt, the CEO of Yum China that operates KFC and Taco Bell, she came out and said that among the, all she. the benefits, yes, all the ben- all these women, all these CEOs are women. Among all wow. the benefits that companies offer to women, the most impactful has been allowing employees to add their parents to their health insurance plan. Yes. Wow. I have never these heard of this. parents are staying old so long these days. They keep like, living. No, they're mostly watching the kids. I was blown away right, by this. Too. It's that's just something too. that I 
couldn't even have come up with on my own about such a wonderful benefit that companies can start offering. Wow. We should so, celebrate um, communists more often, I feel like. <laughs> what a great name of a company, by the way. Yum China. That's the best name ever. <laughs> Yum China. Straight Sorry, to the one, point. One story that you missed that I wanted to point out from the Washington Post. Uh, this is the headline. Japan's answer to seasonal allergies, a subsidized tropical escape. This is the one I thought you were going to point out. <laughs> They're giving workers Stop. up to... Thirteen hundred dollars to to take a tr- basically a tropical vacation away whoa, whoa, from their whoa, allergies whoa, whoa, whoa. in Tokyo. To yeah, <laughs> they're giving workers less than the gifts that they're giving less children until the age of five. That's true. That's true. Those what? kids need gold plated Legos, man. Is it cherry blossom what allergies? Is that? What is this? <laughs> All right. So your three options here are Elon Musk's reputation is no. Pro- Probably turning I off love buyers. No. Um, 3M's $12.5 billion settlement is approved. No. And the Chinese companies are actually giving benefits yes. to their employees. <laughs> That's my vote. Um, uh, all right, Damien votes for that. I, I don't think I have... Mm, I just like to say yum China. Uh, I love those. I want. I don't want to vote for the same thing just so I can make you make a tiebreaker uh-huh. and China. She loves. Wins. She loves the Elon Musk stuff, which but I think the Elon is like Musk story. Kind of a, I, a sarcastic good, I guess. Well, I chose that for one of the headlines. People stopped buying cars. This is great. It's I chose great, it. but you, you know be Tesla's all about gonna it. come back. You know he's gonna come back. It's gonna go crazy again. I know it will, but I, I chose it for one of the headliniest just for the word probably because <laughs> I just thought like who writes ISS is taking headline? over. It's, it's an a, ISS analyst. Does anyone have a real opinion? It's a, like when you have no data like because it's like 20% the Q1 deliveries were down 20% and then it's well, it's probably because of Elon Musk. It's like, no, it's definitely that guy. Right, Nobody right. wants to deal with that guy. Plus, there's 4,000 competitors now who aren't insane. Right. Yeah, That's exactly. pretty much it. Which um, is pretty good, I think. Don't you think? But well, I still have we, to go we already with- reported that there's, an, there's a new industry in bumper stickers that people are buying for their Teslas that basically separate themselves from the CEO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I this just is not a, the car. This is not I, a guess they can't, I guess they can't burn their cars. And this is not a probably because I haven't seen the bumper sticker that says, uh, well, yes, I drive a GM, but I don't believe in Mary Barra because she was in the Girl Scouts or something yeah, like that. I, I, that I doesn't will, exist. They could all just turn on full self-driving and let the cars destroy themselves <laughs> or kill somebody. Um uh, I'm gonna go with the Chinese companies too. Nice. That's that's the winner. Yes, I, I mean, I've like, never heard of this. This is so. Except awesome. for the toys, the toys the, one bothers me. The kids, I, I'm, so. a little, I'm a little <laughs> upset about the 1400 for children. You guys birthdays. are just jealous. Um, uh, but otherwise, that's fabulous. That is fabulous. Which we are flying through the flying, show. It's, I love it's, it. It's, it's great when Damien can't hear what we're saying. I know. I can't delay. talk. <laughs> I'm, I, uh, I'm shutting myself up. Oh, that's wow. The, and, and that's it for today. That's the wrong intro music for whatever's coming next. That's Come on, bring as us down, holiest Matt. holiest of the week. I Take can't be brought glee. down. Kill All our right. good mood. Uh, let's make this horrible for everybody. First up, well, I only have three stories, and uh, um, and they're really themes. The first theme is regulators suck. Regulators, Sometimes you they assholes. Do. Sometimes they do. Here are three stories just this week. First up is the Fed blocked tough global climate risk rules for Wall Street banks. Whoa. The Fed um, and the EU have been wrestling over what bank rules should look like for climate um, disclosure for the banks, how they finance. Effectively, banks have to stop financing so much fossil fuel if we don't all want to die. Europe, obviously, is pushing for pretty stringent standards. And the Fed came out and said, this goes beyond the regulatory purpose. This goes beyond uh, outside of scope for us. Um, And the thing that goes beyond the purpose is for banks to disclose how climate change will fuck up their businesses, how it will fuck up their lending. What what are you talking about? How's that outside of purpose? So who needs to step in and have them disclose this? Well, now insurance they're just, companies? They're going to argue <laughs> and like banks in the U.S. are going to have a different regulatory regime here than they will have in Europe. And you're seeing this bifurcation of regulation because, because nobody can decide climate change matters enough and capitalism should win over – I don't know. Um, but the second regulatory one is – the SEC has just paused its climate disclosure rule amid, amid legal <laughs> challenges. The SEC, they never Boo. suck. Why are they on this they list? They put on pause their new rule, so they're waiting for the Eighth Circuit Court to decide because they're they're being sued. But this is the worst part to me. 
they're being sued not by the just the conservative states who don't want any of this climate change disclosure. They're being sued by all the climate activists on the other side saying they watered it down so much. Oh, so no. So now everyone's upset, which strikes me as perfect. That's perfect regulation. No one likes it. That must be yeah. good. But no, yeah. everyone's suing Can't them. Please everybody. Can't now please everybody. Now they're going to um, take it to the Eighth Circuit. But here's what I found out about the Eighth Circuit. I, wa- I went on to see like how many Trump appointees are basically going to oh, decide no. this. Um, Where is the, where's the Eighth Circuit? Do we know? I, I don't remember. I did look it okay. up. But the, their last decision was about an inmate at an all-male prison who identified as a transgender woman who sued the prison officials because they stripped her and um, and oh. pepper sprayed her and then show, w- walked her mostly naked in front of the oh, other God. inmates. So oh. she sued and um, asserted that she has the right to wear clothing that's gender identity conforming. So she should be able to wear, she shouldn't have to wear the all male clothing. Uh, she's already in an all male prison and um and she also sued because they basically you know uh, uh violated her rights by parading her Jeez. around um, well, and yeah. they they sided with her allowing the you know the the prison pushed back and said we have immunity here but they sided with her and said this lawsuit can go on oh, so that's good all right so you might be talking about woke justices <laughs> deciding the sec rule um so that might be good but the last one really just irks me because why are we wasting our time with this? Here's the headline. Regulators force Microsoft to unbundle Teams from Office. <laughs> Does anyone use Office anymore? Why do we Does need Office with Google, with Google Docs and free, you know, free what Google Sheets? What are you Sheets? talking Everyone about? We have office. an Office account. <laughs> Stop. It's, <laughs> As nobody a company. uses it anymore. I don't know anyone who cares about Microsoft Teams. Stop it. Yeah. I gave you the login. I invited you to be part of my family. And we use Microsoft <laughs> For- Teams win. Office. We literally pay we for office. Slack. We pay. We use Slack, Ari. We don't use Teams. Maybe we should stop paying for Slack since we yeah, pay maybe for you're Office. Right. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> no, Actually, I, we, we need I, to save the money. I like I like <laughs> Slack and not Teams. Um, so number one is regulators suck. Number two is racist regulators suck. Oh. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Isn't this part of regulators sucking? No, no, no. This is a <laughs> totally different, different, of different of regulator- subset okay. of regulatory. And how suckage. do you know the first the first group of regulators aren't racist? How, well, what's the I proof? know because the things that are happening are basically like they're st- stopping climate rules. So that's not okay, racism. Okay. That's well, just you know regulators being, being conservative I- idiots. This is that the climate change up. does affect uh, people of color more. Uh, there are many studies about that. Okay, nuance. Let's uh, okay. let's just take it from the headline. Um, here's the here's the headline. Texas is using Boeing's troubles to expand its war on DEI. Te- Texas is an absolute cesspool cesspool when it comes to this. This is some bad <laughs> stuff going on in Texas when it comes to this stuff. They, I read they're the They're firing ask. so many people. They're, horrible, they're, horrible. They're, they're subpoenaing um, uh, Spirit uh, Aero Systems, the the um, the group that was making the planes, or like the subsidiary of Boeing, or they were working with Boeing, their supplier who's making the planes. Um, they actually are uh, at subpoenaing documents from Spirit about Boeing to find out what Boeing's doing. Th- they're asking for things like, can you give us like how your safety procedures have changed and you know, like you know, what your procedures are and stuff like that. And embedded in the questions for documents are the following questions. Quote, documents that Spirit relies on to substantiate its claim that a diverse workplace improves product quality. What? Quote, produce all meeting minutes of Spirit's Global Diversity and Inclusion Council. Meeting minutes is defined as um, anything memorializing discussion of those meetings held by the groups. They're effectively trying to... Worse than the McCarthy trials. they, They are actually using the Boeing issues to root out, to make any connection between diversity and safety problems they're trying to link it any way they can there is nothing i mean i was i went down this rabbit hole where i was reading about the little rock nine which is uh, the Mm -hmm. group of um uh black students who first entered an arkansas uh high school Mm -hmm. after desegregation and they were like spit on shit thrown at them they had the worst experience in their entire lives the national guard tried to block them from even entering the building even though the supreme court ruled that they had the right to enter the building Uh, horrible stuff and while i'm reading this, I'm thinking, 
This is just the same thing. This is literally the state Matt, apparatus trying to keep diversity out of companies. Matt, is just this week, just this week, uh, uh, there's a report uh, Texas. The University of Texas at Austin is laying off dozens of employees, up to 60 people in their DEI department. I mean, they're, they are literally firing wow. dozens of people because of Texas is just an absolute it, hellhole. It, it's Sorry. insanity. So th this is insanity. part of a this but this is Ken Paxton. This is the actual state apparatus being used to root out diversity and or find any reason to make diversity illegal like discussion of um, I mean, well, uh, I don't even know what the, any of this. What does this even mean? I mean, what is this? What, it's I, I, it's bananas, is what it is. Um, so, racist regulators is your second option. Damn. Okay, I, can I vote now? No, because there's a third option. Oh, and that is racist misogynists oh, with, no. with money. <laughs> well, you mean Elon Musk? You mean Nelson Peltz? You mean <laughs> the headlines are oh, Ackman? These, Ackman these, going after Harvard these, president these again? Spoilers. Talk, these talk for themselves. Elon Musk backs Nelson Peltz in Disney oh, proxy fight. Oh. Is Track record is excellent. Yeah, Which, I saw by the way, that. Again, not. again, where's excellent. the where's the proof of that? Not, why, not excellent. Why are excellent. you saying this stuff? The data shows that it's not excellent, but I love saying it because I'm a billionaire. Yeah. I can just say stuff. Uh. Um, billionaire Bill Ackman accuses Walt Disney Company of leaking shareholder votes amidst ne Nelson Peltz proxy. Matt, Ackman we went were, on a tirade about this. Can I say, Matt, well, the one thing that we absolutely got spot on that nobody else is reporting is that when we did the Disney and our proxy content show, we did we wondered out loud. Yeah. Is this is this like a veiled attempt at a is this a MAGA a, a MAGA overthrow of Disney, right? Because one of the things that struck us was this restore the magic nonsense. Restore right? the magic sounds a lot like make America and, great. And, and since again. then since then, the biggest MAGA E types, the Bill Ackmans, the Elon Musk, they've all weirdly come out not only supporting Nelson Peltz for no goddamn reason, but threatening to sue and and threatening that there's like steal the vote going all the all the trappings the of the racist misogynistic MAGA that we wondered about. We're the only ones, Matt, that picked up on this. And then Damien pulled last night that Jay Rasulo, who is on the board of iHeartRadio. Yeah, iHeartRadio has heart, been iHeartMedia, iHeartRadio heart rather, um, which is a radio company, um, yeah. has been um, a, a Republican donor and might be illegally have an illegal deal with they Ted, are, where Ted Cruz is making money off of so, their. Yeah, yeah so Ted it. Cruz, Ted Cruz hosts a show on iHeartMedia and he he tells the world that he's doing it for free. He's not taking any money, but what iHeartMedia is doing is funneling that salary directly to conservative PACs. So it's yeah, absolutely illegal. Absolutely huh. illegal. So, yeah. and that's where Jay Rasulo's on the board. So we Jay Rasulo, a board member a board at iHeart Media, media our, our, which doesn't do media. media, they just do radio. You're right, just radio. And then to, to just to top it off, to make it as assholey as possible, there's this headline, Nelson Peltz lost a Disney fight, but he did clear a cool $300 million Oh, because he bought the shares. In fact, he bought some shares he borrowed most from Ike Perlmutter, 80% of the shares he borrowed. And it blows my mind that we even talk so about- So Ike made the money? So yeah, Perlmutter Peltz made the money? Or matters who? at all. Like uh, he borrowed his buddy's shares. Like uh, there's no more white male privilege thing you yeah. can do than be like, hey, Wait. can I just borrow like Yo, let couple, me see those shares real quick. Yeah, let me see. Let me borrow 30 30 million shares. I'll be right back. Watch this. <laughs> but Matt, does this mean that that he actually only made 20% of that 300 million? No, Tryon try and bought their oh, own try and. shares um, and they're going to clear 300 million on their investment despite losing. So not only did you Damn. rake the company through the coals, do, uh, say things like, do we need a, a Marvel with an all-female cast? Or why do we have to have an all-black cast? Be talking about one Why do we need Caitlin Clark? I don't even what? know why we need her at all. We, <laughs> we already have LeBron James. I mean, it was... The, the, Peltz is talking about one of the m biggest grossing movies of all time, but why do we need a black cast? Like, why do we need that? Well, Matt, um, I will agree that I, I will say this though: the dude does not need any more money, and and I and yes, he is. He did make a, a big chunk of change here, but you know, this one hurt. He, yeah, this, I'm this sure is an ego. Did. This is a slap in the face because he got he really got beat pretty badly. Damn, I wish I could win three hundred million dollars and then feel like I and, lost and lose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so those are your three options. You got regulators suck. You got racist regulators suck, and you got racist misogynists with <sighs> money suck. Ah, uh, this one's pretty easy for me. 
Oh yeah, you go first. I can't believe what's going on in Texas right now. Oh yeah, like that's I actually where I don't go. understand. Mm. Yeah, so. Ari, I like the the racist massages that Matt pointed out are all the people that we have been complaining about regularly on this show. So right. I don't know if that's like new. But it's all it's like coming new, together in a different way. This isn't newliest of the week. This is just another yeah. asshole. Of it's the just week. more assholes. An event that's happened, like everything that's happened with Boeing being used. Yeah, no, Ari's like right. This I mean, it's just. The the headline alone, Texas is using Boeing's troubles to expand its war on DEI. Right. That headline alone is chilling. I, I they find know that like, what DEI stands for, right? It's I mean like it's chilling. Like, this is chilling. Just just put in like instead of saying DEI, I think the media should be required to say black people. Black like, people. Like just just replace DEI yeah. with blacks and gays. Like and be done with it. Stop pretending like you're not well, just think- having a war against anybody who's not a white male. But this is really, I think, really a war on black people. I, that's what it really is is feeling like more and more and more. It's because it's usually the, the the person they go after or the example they're using. Or Elon Musk was saying that well, wasn't he saying that black pilots are dumber than white pilots? It's usually black people they're pointing their fingers at. This is terrible. This is just horrible. I mean, that's my vote too, Ari. Oh, so we got a sweep. Racist Lots of regulators sweep this week. suck Lots of this week. <laughs> Wait, maybe we shouldn't end with assholes because you, you always bring us down, Matt. Well, headline is. Well, we have headlines. <laughs> Let's okay, do okay, that right, instead. Right. I liked my one I picked. Mine's depressing, though. Uh, I picked two, but I really only have one. <laughs> All right, yeah. why don't you start since Pick you have one. multiple? Um, <laughs> I, the one that I like is the accountant shortage is so bad that it's delaying key reports at companies like Tupperware. Tupper, Tupperware that's going out of business. I love the idea that a key they don't have an account at a company like Tupperware even exists. Like the market yeah. cap of Tupperware is fifty seven million. Its share price is a dollar twenty four. Oh, Tupperware. Like, Wait, what about what, what about Jesse report? She, what about Jesse the Money Whisperer? Instead of her, like she's always gallivanting across the globe. Why doesn't she go work at Tupperware? She's <laughs> where is Tupperware located? The Tupperware is in Orlando, Florida. I think. Oh, yeah, maybe she can that's move. why she can move. <laughs> Do you have my, another one? Uh, I can read the other one. The All other right. one I, I, I picked was billionaire hedge fund boss Steve Cohen says a four-day work week is coming, and it's part of why he made a big investment in golf. That's a oh, good stop. one. Like, I no, love the not. idea that That's he that, thinks that, that like, what I'm going to do. That has gonna nothing do. to do with his investment in golf. Nothing to do with it. <laughs> That's what he said. I, I, just, I know. He's a liar. I, I, I love the idea that what a billionaire thinks everyone's going to do with a day off <laughs> is go fucking golfing. You know uh-huh. what I'm going to do with a day? If I had a four-day work week, Get I would have to clean the house i have yeah. to fucking like grocery shop I do the laundry i there's or probably so drive much for to uber do. eats yeah i mean it's like bananas that a billionaire is so egotistical and so out of touch that he thinks i'm going to spend my fucking days golfing like that's and by the what way I'm steve do? cohen by the way steve cohen that is absolutely not the reason why you're investing in golf and everyone knows it <laughs> i mean you were going to invest in golf no matter what happened yeah all right here's mine Inmates in New York are suing to be allowed to see the solar eclipse. Oh, I do like oh, that. That's like, kind of that's, yeah, that's dystopic. That's I all, believe yeah. it's six uh, six plaintiffs, and they are the reason for their suit is six nerds is re- on religious grounds, and they are all oh. and the, and there's like religious there's, grounds. There's Why? a Tell Christian. Me. There's Muslim. Uh-huh. There's an atheist. Like it is uh-huh. all an atheist. It's, 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 it's quite diverse. What religious yeah. grounds? It is yeah, that what are the grounds? for this an atheist. Sunrise, the sunrise sun thing. Is, this is headlinist, okay? <laughs> no, but that's, that's but I thought that was great because as soon as I saw religious weird. grounds, I'm like, that's weird. But then I saw that it was all these different things, including an atheist. I'm oh, like, this man. is wonderful. They, they want to do the atheist wants to do ritual sacrifice. And but I you can know say that because I'm an atheist. You, <laughs> but you know that the, the the horrible sadistic prison warden is going to let them do it, but not give them the the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're going to get sued for having burnt eyes. Sued for blindness, yeah. My headline, speaking of dystopia, Meta's AI refuses to show Asian men with white women. So, <laughs> so no matter how many times they were so prompting strange. Meta's AI, they would not show a relationship, uh, you know, like a loving relationship between a Asian man and a white woman. It would come back like every time with two Asian people. 
They, really? It could, AI is it could like, figure. And does this is not why, compute. Does not compute. White the, men, this, Asian women, sure. Other way around, no. Nope. And let's not forget that Mark Zuckerberg is married. A white man is married to an Asian woman. So, the, and that combination came up okay, but not right. the reverse. This is why I scream about this regularly. Is because I don't want these people writing the code that that is basically going to control our future. It just makes me crazy. Look, I'm a big fan of whoever was sitting there writing as many ways as possible. Just please show me an Asian man with a Why white woman. Why is that woman. hard just to show, depict? Can you, how is that hard to depict? Can you replace in a photograph a man and a woman with an Asian man and a white woman? Just like, replace it. It's nope. so specific. It's such a specific, easy ask. I can't think. And the AI, if I was the AI the being AI asked this, like, I'd be like, nah. phew, this is so easy. Like, I, this is, I could do that request in a second. Um, all right, let's vote for headliniest. Um, and we'll only count my first headline, not my second one. Although Tupperware. I think you like the golf one better. I love the golf one. Um, uh, I just think a uh, key I'm report with- from Tupperware. What's a key report exactly? <laughs> we you know, suck. All the companies have their key reports. They're allowed <laughs> to have it too. I'm going to go with Meta though. I just can't believe that the AI couldn't facilitate that. Come on. Um, I'm going to go. <laughs> it's hard to believe, right? Yeah, <laughs> it is. So I'm all, you know what? I'm all Maybe also- it was user how Maybe many combinations of people are there? I mean, how many races and genders are we talking about here? I, mean, I like I like to think that it tried to sneak in like a half Asian guy and like a like so like combinations and hope you didn't uh. notice. Every permutation should just be loaded automatically. I'm gonna go with that one too because that's Fine, fantastic. Let's just, that's I don't even care. I just call it clean and sweep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who won the week? Yeah, baby. I have an update for who won the week. Go ahead. New York prison will let inmates go outdoors to view Eclipse oh, after lawsuits. Oh, cheating. Oh, is, that, is that true? The story's updated? True. Yeah. L- literally, that it happened 10 that hours fast. ago. <laughs> oh, because of the earthquake, they probably got concerned. Yeah. yeah that sure. was God talking. Um, <laughs> well, if you're, if you're who won the week is Meta's AI figured out how to put an Asian no. man with a white woman, then that would be great. <laughs> Here's my winner. My winner is, I guess, is Blackwell's because Blackwell somehow was able to, to pretend that they won. They, they announced basically a victory because uh, despite the fact that nobody even came close to supporting their candidates, they came out claiming victory because Nelson Peltz was not appointed to the board. I, know, I don't what, know. I don't what, understand you, Blackwell. What a weird, really know what's going on, what a weird <laughs> activist suit, which was it's a weird win. Right? It was we back Disney, also our three people, but we're anti-Peltz. So Disney I, I and Peltz know. came yeah. out that way, and they're like, "Good, we won." Yes. <laughs> I mean, really, but Blackwell's how how they really won too is that they generated maybe. 5,000 AI images to support its case. Uh, uh, yeah. OpenAI is very thankful for your uh, your bank account that created all those images on Dolly. Um, uh, my winner is Mel Lagomasino. Yes. we. I want to see the final vote, though. I'm, I'm, I want to see I don't care got. what the final vote is because she was elected as a director, and three months from now, literally no one will remember who she is. <laughs> Except and she us, can yeah. just keep cashing those crony Disney checks. I mean, like, she's, yeah. like, highly interconnected. You should have voted her out, like, five years ago. You didn't vote her out then. Peltz made a big thing out of her. And she's still there. Right, she's no. the big winner. She survived. She's going to yeah. walk off. She's the longest what about director. Michael? But she's, what about Michael Froman? He, oh, he well, got targeted, too. Let's just skip to my prediction, then. Oh, okay. Which really? Is, you, have a, you have a Michael <laughs> Froman prediction? <laughs> Michael Froman is named so the next so, CEO so, of Disney. Wow. Oh, wow. Just so wow. people know, Michael Froman is the second targeted director by Ni- N- Nelson Peltz. He targeted two directors. Yes. And Michael Froman is the Who least. Who is he again? He's the Where'd Arguably the least qualified person on the board. <laughs> he's like the head of the Council on Foreign Relations. That's he's what he perfect, does. Ben. Um, he's perfect, He has no business experience. He's an ex-government uh, guy um, That's in, a weird a, in a group that. that doesn't actually do any government content. Tracting? So, like, I don't know what his upside is, except that maybe he, I think when he, he went is, to Princeton, I think he's an introducer. I think he knows a lot of people. He's like well connected. So, but I have no idea. All I know is that he's the next CEO of Disney. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, well, I got to say, he went to Princeton, Oxford, and Harvard. So, this guy. Oh, I mean, there's, might, a, yeah. there's a connections he, thing. He's yeah, well come connected. On. <laughs> I predict that Elon's going to fire Tom Zoo. Zoo. Or Zhu. Why? 
the number the two executive at Tesla. Why? Because Why Tesla's taking a lot of heat, and oh. he's not going to. The board's not going to well, fire him. He's not going to go I, away. He's going to try to blame it on somebody. I like this, Ari, because that was one of my predictions long ago that th- that was a successor to Elon Musk. So now we have a battle in predictions. I, right. I, like I have a right. follow-up. And, and I feel like Tom might get some funny ideas. They're like, oh, maybe this is my time. Also, his title, I believe, mm-hmm. is VP of... Uh, well, he's in charge of deliveries. And what's in suck. all the headlines? Deliveries went down. I, I have a sub. I'm going to piggyback off of that with a second prediction, which is that um, SpaceX allowed. announces the hiring of Tom Zhu. <laughs> that's what I'm oh. going to. That's what I'm going to. Interesting. Add. Interesting. False. Say. Uh, <laughs> my prediction is that the next CEO of Disney will not be ESPN chair Jimmy Pataro. Oh, that's 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 an although you guys are right. Prediction. That's already but you guys I are thought. right though with this Caitlin Clark bounce. Who who, who knows? But I just got to figure the way that betting is taking over sports. I I I just I think Disney's going to get rid of ESPN eventually. I just I, it's a little weird all this betting. In sports. It's weird. It's a weird. It's weird. But they're not going away. That's all we've got. That was, you're welcome for your shortest Friday show, your Friday wrap in history. Thanks to the fact that we spent all week talking about Disney. <laughs> no, I shut up, too. I, that, I tried to shut up. That's true. It helps. Um, that's Hazelnut Rollis and Ari the Data Queen. I'm your analyst, so I'm Matt Muscari. We are Free Float. We'll be back not next week. Damien might do a show or two on his own. I don't know. You two might do a Friday well, show. Far is around. Far is around. Maybe you guys know. will do a show. Ari's we're all, not we're around all eclipse after hunting. After we're, we're all out of the hunting. eclipse. My kids are on April break. We'll be back uh, sometime in the not so distant future. So keep checking. Until then, goodbye. Goodbye.